this is a play which absolutely takes the rip out of sort of what might be said to be part of your world of sort of yeah. Hollywood, starlets, red carpets, absolutely. agents and all of that. And part of your world as well, because journalists and critics and, and everything else, so yes. You could probably have chosen anything you liked as um, your stage debut. I don't know anything I liked, but, um, but yeah, I mean, I've been offered um, a couple of things before this, and, and I just, it made me laugh. It's a witty nasty satire and mm. uh, and I, I i loved its hard edges and um and yes i think because it looks at a world that i know and that i'm part of and um and it makes fun of it and yeah. i i i sort of I, I thought it was quite naughty and i liked that alex is my agent he'd sooner i signed a contract than attempt high risk physical contact and then why can't your agent leave you alone why can't he deal with you on the phone you seem to be jealous of the entire male race hasn't the entire male race been invited up to this place well, you ought to find that reassuring isn't it just plain boring to see so many men wouldn't it be more exciting if there was a favorite i kept on inviting but the favorite is supposed to be me you've got the journalist who kind of becomes your best friend in order to betray you, yeah. and you've got the lechy old critics who are there desperately. For the, they've got their own agendas as well. I think everybody has their own agenda, mm. yeah, and everybody's trying to use each other. And, um, and you try desperately to pretend that that's not what's going on, but actually, at the end of the play, obviously, you, you find out that it, it absolutely is. Yeah, so it's a very knowing play. It and is. You, you must have known that a lot of the, the real critics, as it were, were just waiting for you to fall flat in your face in your first thing. They yeah. wanted the play to be a bit of a failure and actually the critics have been uh, have been impressed sort of despite themselves haven't they? Uh, I, I haven't read any of them um, right. yes I hear that they were they were much better than than I certainly expected which yeah. is fantastic I mean yeah I think I think any time um, sort of a, a, a Hollywood personality comes onto the stage the knives are out, absolutely. Um, and yes, I was expecting that. Your first big um, film breakthrough was Bend It Like Beckham, and you've had some amazingly sort of glamorous roles since then. But that wasn't, was it? That was, that was a tomboy role, and you played quite a lot of football. I just wondered, did you play football beforehand? I did play a lot of football beforehand. Um, yeah, I was 16 when I did it, and yes, I played a lot of football at school, and I have played no football since in really annoyingly I sort of thought oh no I'll, I'll I'll still be quite good I'll be okay and I tried to play it last summer and I was awful <laughs> absolutely awful so it's all gone so maybe I need to do another soccer film so that I can um, I can get my skills back and you have taken on some roles of quite unpleasant characters yeah. in, in this but I'm thinking also of atonement is not yeah. not a not a warm cuddly character you play there at all no no I, <laughs> I have a friend who sort of came to see this the other night said you always pick such Awkward people to play. Awkward people. I thought, actually, that's a really good word for it. I, and I think it's... I mean, I, 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 I find them very interesting. And the reasons, you know, the reasons that people behave badly, because there's always a reason behind something, and, and digging into that and trying to figure out yeah. what makes a person tick and what makes a person behave in a certain way. Let me help with that. No, I'm all right, thanks. Take the flowers. I'm all right. Take the flowers. I'm all right. I'm all right. I Thing we own. Not anymore, it isn't. Careful! I read, I don't know if it's true, that with Atonement that you, you watched quite a lot of 1940s films and so on to try and, and, and pick up on the mannerisms and way of... Yeah, that was more, I mean, that, that was a stylistic choice that Joe Wright, the director, made on that and, yeah. and then sort of, so, so all of the actors had to become very familiar with a very different form of, of um, film acting because we don't really, we don't uh, act in that style anymore, so it was a very different stylistic choice. Right. Uh, Pirates um, of the Caribbean. What was interesting there, I guess, is that you were playing um, a pretty assertive figure as well. This is a long way from, yes. you know, the traditional sort of pirate's daughter damsel or in distress. whatever it might be, or yeah. damsel in distress. They're clearly good, fun films to watch. They are, I mean, that's, yeah, that's the point of them. But, They're family fun. Physical. They're sort of, yes, very, 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 very physical. Um, and I sort of, I did a lot of my own stunts, which was fantastic. That's not very nice. <laughs> you do any of those kind of, those big Hollywood action pieces, mm. and they take a very, very long time, and it's a very, very slow process. Yes. So, um, 
No, it wasn't always fun, but yes, there was <laughs> fun to be had within it. Okay. You've done a lot of different kinds of films, but um, the latest thing that we read is that you've been, you've been picked for My Fair Lady. I, I've been reading that everywhere as well. But you're not sure that it's true? No. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, no. OK, well, we'll wait and see. Yes. Um, uh, can you sing, can I, just in case? I, don't, I, can, no, I, mean, I can carry a tune. You can carry a tune. Certainly wouldn't say I'm the best singer in the world. All right, mm. OK. Well, <laughs> So who knows? <laughs> we'll wait and see. Okay. A lot of people um, really think of you uh, or associate with you as, as Pride and Prejudice. Mm. Um, I, I, I don't know whether, like you know, most teenage girls, you sort of absorbed Jane Austen endlessly beforehand. Yes. Yes. And therefore, did you have a very strong image of your character? I think every single woman that reads Pride and Prejudice sees themselves as Elizabeth Bennet, yes. and I was exactly the same. Um, yes. So... So, yes, absolutely, but equally it was very frightening taking it on because everybody goes, no, 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 I'm, I'm Elizabeth I'm Elizabeth, Bennett. but not too sugary, because often no. you, you, you see some quite sugary Elizabeth Bennets, and, oh, and she's, oh, she's quite a tough character. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And she's got a strong-minded yeah. girl. Again, she's got yeah. edges and she's, she's exciting. I wonder who first discovered the power of poetry in driving away love. <laughs> I thought that poetry was the food of love. Of a fine, stout love, it may. But if it is only a vague inclination, I'm convinced one poor sonnet will kill it stone dead. So what do you recommend to encourage affection? Dancing, even if one's partner is barely tolerable. I've always loved the book. I was obsessed with Pride and Prejudice from about, I don't know, from when I was about ten. So sort of getting to play that was terrifying, but um, amazing. Talking of uh, teenage girls, out there's probably about five or six million of them who want to be Kira Knightley. Oh, that's they, terrifying. Well, what, no, what would you say to them, which I was going to ask? Don't. Don't, really? <laughs> be yourself, uh, I think. Do you get used to being observed, followed, watched, having protection people around you? No. No, you it, it you know, is oppressive, I mean, it, is it? Yes, of course it is. You know, yeah. I think anything that, that sort of um, limits your freedom of movement is is very difficult to to get used to. You know, um, equally, yes, I, I have amazing opportunities and I'm incredibly lucky. Um, but um, but yes, there are always going to be downsides and nothing's perfect. You seem to be enjoying this. Yes. It seems to be going very well. A bit more live theatre from Kira Knightley in the future, do we think? I hope so. I hope so. Okay. Yeah. Kieran Knightley, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.